clap. What's up guys? So in this video, I'm just gonna give you some quick tips on how you can record better inside Unreal Engine 4 with the Meta Human Sample Project. Now I know I've been getting a lot of questions about this thing and I know I've been playing around with it and you guys know I've been playing around with it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna give you some quick tips on how you can record better quality inside Unreal Engine 4. Now first thing that I should tell you to get is the uh, adapter, Ethernet adapter that connects from your Ethernet router directly to your iPhone. Now this is a little bit pricey, but I think it's worth it because without this, you're actually gonna have to connect to Unreal Engine 4 using Wi-Fi, which if you have a billion of Wi-Fi devices, a lot of connections in your house, you probably are not gonna get a good quality coming out of your iPhone. So first off, go ahead and get you that Ethernet adapter that comes from your router directly to your iPhone. Uh, second tip is if you are recording facial motion capture like I am doing right now, make sure that A, you are not sporting a COVID beard because it's gonna screw it up. If you have facial hair, it's not gonna capture everything. And second of all, you can improve the quality of the capture by putting some lights in front of your face. Try not to put your face in shadow, so if you can put like a light in front of your face, like a ring light or something like that, then that's gonna capture the face a little bit better. Now, third thing that I would like for you guys to know is something that Style Marshall actually told me when I was hitting my head on a keyboard with the whole mouth closing thing. Now, to fix this issue, he was able to find out a little tweak that you can change in the blueprint. So go ahead and just copy what I'm showing you guys on the screen right now to fix this issue. But basically, my first MetaHuman video, uh, my guy wasn't really closing his mouth as much. Um, it was actually halfway open most of the time. And after he saw that video, he told me, hey, go ahead and do this. And I think it actually worked. And I know the vacuum is going off right now because, you know, that's just the way it is. But yeah, so uh, third thing, go ahead and check out the bl blueprint. Pretty much uh, you're going to have to edit the curves in that blueprint so that your mouth can be close like this. See that? I'm actually closing my mouth which is nice because that kind of sells that effect, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I am just testing my hands in motion and my facial capture here again in MetaHuman is just pretty much, so pretty much that's it. I just want to give you guys some quick tips on how you can improve your recording with Unreal Engine Force MetaHuman using the iPhone Life Face app and Access Neuron. I have Access Neuron right now doing a little quick test as well. Uh, additionally, I know I get this question a lot. Uh, this right now, unfortunately, the Live Face Live app is only available for Apple devices because it is Apple AR kit. It's just the Android AR is just kind of like lagging behind. So I had to switch to an iPhone device. I mean, I've been an I, I've been an Android user for at least 29 years, and I actually go on ahead and switched over because the Apple AR kit is just insane. Now I still hate their phones but the Apple AR kit is definitely worth the switch.